Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I am here yet again with another, well actually it's not another, it's a, the first, I don't know if you want to call this a vlog, but we're going to be talking about beauty and makeup today. I'm actually in the car, we are headed to Ulta Beauty. I spent some more money yesterday while I was out of town and got a whole bunch of products that I can't do anything with. I tried them on and I feel like I look like a dust monkey, so we're going to be taking those back today. Um, but at any rate, you guys, definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe. Plus, push your post notification bell button so that when any time I upload a video, you will be notified. So, we're going to get my baby some food and then uh, head to the store. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright you guys, now if you guys only knew how long it actually took me to set up for this video, and it's not even anything that's major, but my tripods are not cooperating, my LED lights are not cooperating, so we are recording this video as you can see most likely with a different camera. This is actually my cell phone that I'm using, but the camera is pretty good and it actually records kind of close in terms of quality to a DSLR camera, so um, that's not the reason why I use it. It was just a lot easier for me to get that footage that you just saw of me kind of window shopping majority of the items that I was looking at in uh, Ulta Beauty. But let's jump right into this because I am already, I got an attitude, okay? <laughs> she real bothered right now. She's real bothered right now. So, jumping into the first box. The first box is pretty small. I actually ordered this from Laura Mercier. Um, this is a cosmetic company. I'm not really too familiar with everything that has to do with Laura Mercier, but that is what I have been wearing in terms of my foundation, my concealer, my setting powder, all of that stuff to give me a nice full coverage matte face. I've been dealing with Laura Mercier and I have to tell you that hands down, she is absolutely one of my favorites. So the one thing that I wanted to get from her, I saw on her website and they did not have this available. At least when I looked at the Sephora website online, I've also been to Sephora as well as Ulta Beauty was the Laura Mercier uh, mattifying, I think it's oil free moisturizer. Now the reason why I got this obviously is because my skin um, is, I would say it's combination, it's kind of oily. I would say pretty much majority of my face mainly here from here all the way around all of this gets really 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 oily but right up in here you know down my nose the sides right here gets really 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 red and irritated and even sometimes here so I have combination skin but it's majority oil so I wanted to get a really nice um, moisturizer that I can wear when I'm doing a full face so this is what it looks like um, I actually haven't tried this as of yet but most likely I'll be using this tomorrow um, I, did, I don't have any makeup on as you guys can see. <laughs> I'm bare faced today and the reason for that is because when I was out of town yesterday, we actually did go to, um, like I said, I went to Ulta Beauty. We were in Fresno and I went to Ulta Beauty out there and I had intended on kind of trying to recreate some of the looks that I have been wearing but with drugstore, um, some of the lower grade cosmetic brands. That did not work out. So, um, my skin is a little bit irritated and I don't know if it's because of those products or what so I intend to do a really good nice cleaning routine today um, and put a face mask on so I don't want to wear any makeup today so that's why I don't have anything now also with the Laura Mercier I also have some samples they sent me some samples which is of some setting powder I don't want to open it because um, it doesn't have a 
top you just pop it out here see it doesn't have a top so I kind of just want to keep these I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with them because I do have some Laura Mercier setting powders already in my collection um, but I don't think this is the same color as what I have so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do to these but then I also got some Laura Mercier sample matte lipstick which I'm pretty 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 excited to try I don't know how these look let me see I see it's got a little Spoolie type brush there so you can dip it in yeah they almost look like little pills but that's not what they are these are three different matte lipsticks so I'm actually pretty excited to try those out because um, if I like them I'll most likely be buying them <laughs> but that's it for Laura Mercier so moving on to let's start with Ulta Beauty because that's going to be the easiest thing for me to get out so I bought a whole bunch of brushes you guys I have a whole lot of brushes and majority of them are by this company called elf so this is my blush brush it's very basic and actually um, just looking at this you can probably look this look use this for a highlight if you wanted to depending on the highlighting effect that you wanted to go for you can probably use this for that as well not at the same time it would have to be one or the other is what I'm trying to say but you could probably use this you know what I mean if you want to just do like a slight highlighting again it depends on how much of a highlight you want to put on your face I know some people just kind of stick their fingers in the highlighter and then they just kind of dabble where they want to get that extra glow but that's one brush um, I have a lot of these brushes this is by wet n wild and this is a small eyeshadow brush um, I've actually already opened one that I used on my trip but this is how it looks it's almost like a flat paddle brush but this is by Wet n Wild. Now these brushes do pretty good. You don't always have to spend a lot of money what I'm finding out on my makeup journey to get the stuff that you need. These brushes cost around, I think it's like $2 for the Wet n Wild. And the e.l.f. brushes are also really inexpensive. They have some more on the higher end of the pay, the cost, but not too much. And I have this brush, which is also by Wet n Wild. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm trying to take it out, everything. And I'm trying to be very, very, very gentle with the way I'm moving this table because my camera is propped up and I feel like it's going to fall. But this one is called a large eyeshadow brush. So the first one that I bought will most likely be the one that I use to kind of dab into the color. This one, the small eyeshadow brush, the one that looks like a paddle up here, I would most likely use that one to dab into the eyeshadow color and kind of start to create my base color around here along my crease line or even a little bit higher up um, just before I get to my eyebrows and then this larger brush no this one I'm sorry this larger brush will be what I use to kind of diffuse it kind of create an ombre look okay as you guys can tell I've been learning that cosmetic jargon as well I don't want to take this one out but this one is called a fan brush this one is also what people use to do their highlighter it's really 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 thin I don't want to open it because I think I already have one I just said I don't want to open it. I'm open I already have one but it is really 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 thin this is also by elf and this is another one that cost me I think between two to five dollars I can't really remember right off the top of my head but this one is also good for a highlight you can do a quick sweeping motion with this one now this I got from Ulta Beauty. This is by Urban Decay, and this one was $15. This was like right at the register. Now, the normal size box of this cost, I think, $25, between $25 to $30. This one I got as a travel size, um, and this is a set spray. This is the best one. Everyone uses this. Almost every channel that I have seen, it doesn't matter what uh, level they're on in terms of makeup majority of them have this they usually have more than one setting spray but majority of them stand by urban decays this is their uh, long-lasting makeup setting spray this is matte it's supposed to be lightweight but it gives you up to 16 hours of wear that's what you put on at the end of your face routine okay these are some of the items that I decided to keep but um, a little bit lower on the price scale this one, which actually the lady at Ulta Beauty told me that this one was from, um, this one uh, has been going viral on TikTok because 
um, of its effect. Now this one is called, it's by Essence, it's called False Lash Effect, and this is a mascara. So it's supposed to give you the appearance as if you have on false lashes. This costs $4.99, so not bad. The one that I usually use is by Maybelline, and it's called Sky High Mascara. I did actually try this one on yesterday when I was attempting to recreate my look, and I must say that I actually like this one a whole heck of a lot better. Now, these are by L'Oreal, and these are infallible full wear concealers. Now, I have two different ones here, okay? Um, both by L'Oreal. This one, the lighter one, let me see if I can see the color. I think this one is Honey. Yeah, 45, or 415? Yeah, 415. <laughs> this one is 415 Honey. And again, this is L'Oreal infallible full wear, okay? And then I have this one, which is in 435 Coffee, and this is what I'll be using for my bronzer. No, it is not a bronzer. It is a concealer. They are the same exact. They're just two different colors, but because of my comp complexion, this actually goes good as a bronzer, or not a bronzer, a contour, when I want to get that nice, slim shadow effect. This is the one that I'm going to start using. I have another one that I'm going to show you guys in a separate video, but that's the one that I got yesterday, okay? And then something really basic, I got these because I wanted to do a couple of uh, swatches with some of the lipsticks that I got, but this is Clinique. This is also at the front by the register. It is a travel pack of just some basic makeup wipes, and I think this one costs $4.99 as well, okay? Now, let's deep into have a sponge I'm not gonna show y'all because I'm pretty sure you guys have seen all of the loofahs in the world but we are going to dig into the rest of this stuff I actually have my Sephora box I haven't even popped that open yet I will probably do that in another in another video just because I don't want this one to be too 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 long and I'm already at what 10 minutes so I think I'm gonna wrap this bad boy up when we go through these last few products here is that it? Okay, that's it. So let me put everything that I have already showed y'all in my bag so that it is out of the way. Um, now, just to give you guys a little bit of a background on me when it comes to makeup, I already told you guys and you've already seen, I really don't usually wear makeup. I'm kind of pretty satisfied with the way my face looks on a normal basis. So if anything, um, even growing up as a teenager, the only thing that I would really put on my face would be some lipstick. Um, it looks like I have a liner on. I don't, but that is just the natural, That this, these, these are my natural lips. I don't have anything on right now except for some chapstick, some lip, lip balm that I actually just got today, which is new. Guys, this is fabulous. I believe this was $5.99. This was also at the beginning, at the front, um, by the registers. There's like two little displays and they almost kind of look like cupcake, uh, Cupcake, cupcake tier stands but they have a lot of little travel size products and not all of them are inexpensive like I said that Urban Decay setting spray that one is $15 okay but how big is it I mean considering I didn't even take it out the package for y'all huh but considering um, I did take it out considering how big it is for a travel size this is one fluid ounce so that's not bad. And realistically, this is going to last a while. Depending on how often you use your makeup, you are not spraying to wet your face. You are spraying to set your face up. But this here, when I saw the ingredients, and just to give you guys a little bit of a background, okay? So let me just let you guys know, when I was in high school, okay, again, I've, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd in all aspects. I used to read the encyclopedia, the dictionary, you know, I haven't read as much as I should as an adult, but I really, really, really used to love hitting the books. And one thing that I took up at, uh, being interested in as a child was cosmetology. Now, I did actually attempt to go to cosmetology. When I was growing up, there was a program where you could attend college at the not high school at the same time and attend um, a college program together. So I would do my high school courses in the daytime, and then I would do the college courses at nighttime. And I had to actually go to the college. Now, this was a beauty school. Um, it was a black owned beauty school in my neighborhood that I went to and I was actually, you know, getting college credits, but I decided to take up cosmetology. I didn't get a chance to complete it um, for financial reasons. I wasn't able to get the information that I needed from my parents in order for me to continue. And at the time, I didn't have anyone to really give me that guidance and explain to me what other options I had so that I could continue on. So I kind of um, 
basically just took a different route in terms of my career and just jumped right into the work field doing customer service jobs. Then, I want to say somewhere around 2009, 2010, I actually tried to, and I graduated high school in 2001. So just to give you guys a little timeline. So I, I want to say around... Yeah, 2010, 2009, 2010, um, I attempted to go back to cosmetology school, um, and it was Marinello's School of Beauty, but my mother became ill. Um, she had been battling uh, breast cancer for a very long time. It had went into remission, but then it came back, and when I was going to school, she would call me home literally every single day to come and help her because she was in a lot of pain. And with me missing the amount of classes that I was missing, I just didn't think that it was feasible at that time for me to continue. So I do have a little bit of history in cosmetology. I did not complete the course, you guys, but when I was in cosmetology, I used to do, I want to say, pretty damn good with hairstyling and nail care. Feet, specifically. <laughs> so just to, got, just to let you guys know, um, but... Back to the point I was trying to say, I have researched ingredients because of my skincare line that I am trying to launch, and I know that the ingredients in this, uh, this is by, where is the name, Dionis, I hope I'm saying it right, but it's goat milk skincare, goat milk is really, really, really good. Um, this one says it soothes, protects, and nourishes. It's goat milk, and the scent is vanilla bean. It's 100% natural, lip balm, cruelty-free, and paraben Free, okay and looking at the ingredients nothing bad in here I put this on about I want to say an hour or so ago and it still has a pretty decent layer on my lips it's not moving it's not going anywhere and so I think you guys should this one is good this is probably gonna be my go-to from here on out okay so now let's quickly go through it let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going now I'm gonna try to do everything within the collection so this one is also by Essence. This is another mascara that I picked up today. Now, I don't need any more mascara, but I wanted to get it. Um, anyway, this one is supposed to be vol volumizing and lengthening. So this one is called What the Fake. Um, it's by the same company as that other mascara that I showed you, but this one has volumizing fiber. So it's supposed to give you thickness as well as give you length. This was the same price. It was $4.99. So if you guys are looking for a really good mascara, I highly suggest that you guys try this. Um, if not this one, the other one that I showed you, which is by Essence as well, but it's called, um, it's in a green bottle. Let me just show you one more time. If I can find it without taking a whole bunch of time. Where is it? I can't find it, you guys. It's disappearing in the bag. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. Okay, this one is called False Lash Effect. So you guys can see the difference side by side. Same company, False Lash Effect, and this one is called What the Fake. So this one is supposed to give you thickness and length and this one is just supposed to give you length okay but they're supposed to make it seem as if you have on false lashes okay both $4.99 now to finish up with my brushes I got just some more extra brushes you can never have enough brushes you guys elf has becoming my favorite brand now um, there are a lot of good brushes out there you can get there's good brushes by morph and I actually have some more brushes that I'm probably gonna go through in another video that I bought a morph collection of brushes which is just for the face and eyes um, that one was on sale I think I got that one for $29.99 but elf um, between elf and morph they're both becoming my favorite so this is a highlighting brush and it honestly it looks exactly the same as the blush brush that I showed you earlier in the video this one is around the same amount between I want to say three to six dollars for this brush really thick quality um, it's, it's a little too thick you know I wouldn't necessarily use this to highlight like my cupid's bow right here because it's too big but I would use this to highlight my cheeks okay but this is a highlighting brush it's very very soft and somewhat dense Okay, but it's very, very free-flowing as far as the bristles are concerned. And it's really easy to clean these brushes. I thought it was like a whole process because they got brush cleaner at these places. And I'm like, oh, God, I got to invest in all of that. You really don't. I use one of my, um, and I know someone's probably going to say, don't do that. But I use one of my less expensive face wash that I got from Walmart. Um, I use that to clean my brushes because if it's safe to go on my face Then why wouldn't it be safe to use on a brush that's going on my face and it works just the same and I leave them out to dry flat 
and it works just fine okay i haven't had any issues um i got this brush i really only wanted this brush for this part up here this angled part of the brush and that is for my contour when i go to contour my nose i think that this brush will be good for that it's going to help me get into those creases but as you can see at the bottom of it it has a spoolie so this is actually a eyebrow brush it's called the precision dual sided eyebrow brush and as you can see this is also by elf i don't want to take this out of the package just yet but this one i believe was also between four to six dollars all of this was at elta beauty and then finally this this here this is the diva of brushes same company as you can see elf now this brush i believe was twelve dollars if you guys paid attention to some of those clips where i was recording uh some of the stuff in ulta beauty you will actually see that there were some other brushes that were similar to this by uh, more costly cosmetic brands a brush like this by um laura mercier and i think it was it but they only make those brushes specifically for ulta was like forty dollars forty dollars and this one was twelve dollars twelve dollars and you see how nice this brush is i think i'm actually going to take this one out hopefully it's got plastic on it oh it actually came out pretty pretty cool okay this is a powder brush let me just read precision powder brush and i love this okay i absolutely love this i may have to go back and get me another one just for the sake of getting another one this right here this is your this is what i will use for my all over setting after i'm done with everything just before i spray and i want to just add some skin tone setting powder to my face this most likely would be the brush that i use this is what i bought it for okay but 12 dollars, you guys 12 dollars all right um nothing exciting about this this i believe was ten dollars as well but this is by heritage you can get this at even some health food stores like trader joe's whole foods but this is basically just rose water refreshing face mist i bought this to use after i do my um skincare routine this is going to be a daily toner that i use it's not a toner it's a face mist but it only has two ingredients in it and i like to use stuff that has the bare minimum in it for especially for my face because my face can be pretty temperament temperamental sometimes she wants to cooperate and sometimes she doesn't all right and now by laura mercier i have a hopefully you guys can see this i think i have it upside down let me know if you guys can see that but this is a translucent loose setting powder and this is my skin tone powder so i actually don't have none of this at all i do have laura mercier translucent loose setting powder but it's the uh lighter skin tone um, it's a medium. I think it's the honey glow powder. I don't have this one. This one is a medium deep Okay, so I'm gonna see how this works I'm kind of happy with the routine that I have and this stuff is expensive you guys. I love it I love it. I think that Laura Mercier it, I love it. That's all I can say. I can't say enough positive things about this brand I really 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 love her again. This has become my favorite. I use this Laura Mercier and Rare Beauty, which is a company I know was created by, I think her name is Selena Gomez, but I have her, um, I have her foundation and her concealer, and I have foundation and concealer with uh, Laura Mercier, but this is a uh, medium deep, so this, this would be my skin tone setting powder. I haven't used this on my face yet, even in my previous videos with makeup, um, but I think I want to try this costs 23 dollars, and they have a larger one that costs 39 dollars. okay so this is an option if you guys don't want to get a really big one and again you don't use a whole lot of setting powder on your face anyway you lightly dusting it okay so um i think that this smaller one would work they also have some great options by maybelline they just didn't work out for me and then i want to get this last final little sample out Whew. by mac this is a matte lipstick i actually wanted to try this on this i think i don't i don't remember how much this was you guys but this was also at the front and i thought it was a nice shade that would go with my complexion probably either with a nice brown liner or i do have a i want to say close to hot pink liner um i'm not sure how that would work but i did think this was a nice shade so we're gonna try it on this is what it looks like it's very 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 tiny and this is by mac this is what it looks like let's see how this looks on them because i haven't tried it yet yeah see it's 
it's nice and light so I can get probably a nice ombre out of this with a nice brown liner see that it actually kind of makes my lips look like they are a little bit larger than what they are um, but yeah I like that and if I were to add like a nice brown liner I think that would look pretty good by itself it doesn't really look all that great and it's gonna look a little weird anyway because I don't have anything on my face I have absolutely no foundation no concealer no nothing this is just my bare skin but I do think that that looks good I'm gonna take it off my lips though because I'm supposed to be giving my my face a day of rest y'all let me know if in the future y'all I think I saw one person who actually said they wanted me to do my skincare routine I clean myself I clean my face usually twice a day in the morning it's very basic because I go through the whole process at nighttime where I do an oil cleanse um, on my face as well as using a cleanser I do a double cleanse at night every day so I use an oil cleanse um, a regular gentle face wash and then I follow up with a serum a toner and then a moisturizer um, whereas in the morning I just basically lightly um, I clean myself clean my face with some warm water and just kind of get like a warm towel um, and put it over my face I don't I don't want to clean my face too much in one day but that doesn't look bad I think that would look pretty pretty good though with a brown liner I'm gonna take it off though <laughs> and it looks darker on the uh, looks darker on the on the white than it did on my lips I think again because my lips are already as you can see naturally pink which is why I tend not to go for a lot of pink because it's gonna look different but that was okay I'm gonna put some balm back on my lips because I don't want my lips to dry out Ooh, child, this video is long. I really appreciate you guys if you actually sat through this with me. <laughs> and even if you didn't, I appreciate you trying. All right, so finally, the last little bit of this video. Now, this is a, a company. This I believe this is a either it's a black-owned company or it's a company that is made with um, melanated skincare or is melanated makeup in mind. I have to do a little bit more research on it, but there's been a lot of great reviews by this company as well i don't have any foundation or anything like that for this company i have a couple of little things that i got today but they are still high quality they're a little bit more on the expensive end and i wanted to show that to you guys so the first thing that i got is a lip gloss the name of this company is what is this juvia's place juvia's place and this is called glass lip gloss at the bottom it says it's glass focus if you guys can see that okay basic it is just a clear gloss you guys can see that it's basically just a clear gloss nothing special about that I think it's good that everybody has a gloss in their collection for those days where you really don't feel like doing too much this however is a nude matte lip stick okay same company this is called muted this one I think is going to be close to that mini mat that we just looked at I want to try it on but I'm scared this is how it looks like when you take it out and the name of this color is muted Ooh, it looks brown kind of looks dark brown doesn't it? I'm gonna see how it looks we gonna see how it looks yeah see this is more of a tan and this is definitely, that doesn't look bad either, but I wouldn't wear this by itself because it does put a lot of emphasis in my lip area. So I would definitely put this on with a brown liner, but it doesn't look bad. It actually looks just the way I want it to. So these are probably gonna be in my go-to everyday looks because I'm pretty simple when it comes to the lip. This is how it looks. Not bad. I must say, my skin is definitely looking better since I've actually gotten on a skincare routine. Because, honey, we still got some imperfections here and there. But she is evening out nicely. All right, we've got the gloss. We've got that. We have got a liner here. Same company, Juvia's Place. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you guys how much it cost. So the lip gloss was about $12. This was $12 for the gloss. 
the uh, muted lipstick was around the same price I think it was 12 or 14 dollars and then this I believe was eight dollars now this is also by Juvia's Place and this is in the color cola and this is also this is supposed to be like a brown liner I haven't used it yet now we'll have to completely unwrap this plastic um, in order to use it I don't know just by looking at it I think this is most likely going to be a retractable lip liner not something that you need to sharpen almost kind of like push up like a chapstick okay got that this was like eight dollars I have a eye primer this is also by Juvia's Place this is to go in this area here to help the color show up because you know that's darker skin tone girls uh, especially for the brighter colors we have a hard time as you can see my natural color I'm a little bit you know I have what they call raccoon eyes I'm a little bit darker around in this area so I would definitely use like a lighter color concealer you can use a lighter color concealer to kind of hold, um, hide that and even out your skin tone here as a base or you can buy a eyeshadow primer base um, and this one is by Juvia's Place they have three different shades in this this one mine is in a medium this is shade two they have three shades shade one which I think is like fair or light and then they have shade two which is this one which is medium and then they have shade three which is like a dark or cocoa color okay so I got the medium to go over my eyes I'm definitely gonna start using this because I think that would help some of the lighter colors that I try show up a little bit better I'm just gonna have to get a little bit creative and then finally you guys we have made it to the end this bad boy costs 20 bucks now this is also by Juvia's Place and this is the um, warrior the warrior one of the warrior palettes they have several different ones in this collection but this is the one that I chose now this one was $20 okay this is the final item that I'm gonna show you guys today because I said this video was already too long I'm sorry y'all we're gonna get better at it we're gonna get better at it okay so this is what it looks like out of the package we're gonna open that up that is absolutely gorgeous now I did see one on display there which is why I wanted to get it and I think that those colors would absolutely look great now that I have the right concealer and eyeshadow primer base I think those are gonna look absolutely fabulous you know I would use these with um, because I like my golds and my browns and my nudes and those types of colors a lot. So I would probably use this with a combination of a like berry lip or a red lip or even just a brown liner with just gloss. But yeah, I think that is absolutely fan fantastic. So I'm going to do just a color of, couple of the color swatches on the back of my hand just so you guys can see. I am going to go into this. So you can see that one. Let me put it on the back of my hand. Not bad. Not bad. Like I said, this will probably be a base color. For my eyes, I want to go into this one here. This gold color, that's the one I'm most excited about. You see it there. Not bad. And we are going to put it here. Let's see how it looks. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. I can already tell with just these two swatches, this palette I'm going to have a lot of fun with. A lot of fun. But on that note, you guys, I am going to say, I usually would say I hope this information is in some way helpful or useful to you guys. But the reality is, I don't know if this is helpful or useful to you guys. If we're just having fun, I'm going to say it anyway, though, because I'm used to saying it. So at, at any rate. I hope that this information was in some way hope, uh, helpful or useful to you guys. I certainly had a whole lot of fun um, sharing everything with you. And like I said, I still have a whole nother box. I may release that video tomorrow after I do my regular video from Sephora because I haven't even opened up my Sephora box and I have some other stuff upstairs and I have my beauty subscription boxes that are going to be arriving this week too so I have so much stuff that I want to share with you guys but on that note you guys I'm going to say remember to live love and elevate definitely let me know if that is something that you guys would be interested in in terms of me doing a skincare routine where I actually record myself cleaning my face um, and showing you guys the products which that's going to be another video where I show you guys the brand that I use because it's a whole system
that you can also purchase at Ulta Beauty that I use to clean my face. But on that note, you guys, again, I'm going to say remember to live, love, elevate, stay hydrated, be safe, remember to social distance, and I will definitely see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace, beautiful people.